Yo, what is good everyone? It's your boy Kuro back with another video. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. This is more like a discussion video. Today I wanna talk about like what exactly is the best console or system to get Dragon Ball Spark and Zero on. I thought to myself that this might be a silly video, but you'll be quite surprised like most people be contemplating what system did you get on get it on because you know you got ps5 you got the xbox and then you also have your pc and as someone that has multiple systems sometimes i kind of like have trouble i was like man you know what should i get it on because my friends they play on ps5 but i also got a good pc and i want to play games on my pc as well how do you decide what system to get it on first and foremost uh this video is not for everyone because not everybody has a PS pc or you know what i'm saying vice versa ps5 so it's kind of like take what i say with a grain of salt but if you someone that doesn't really have many friends on ps5 and you kind of like prioritize the quality of your experience and gameplay i definitely will recommend you get it on pc because number one you're gonna have a higher refresh rate for the game so it's not going to be kept out at 60 frames per second. Whatever your monitor is, it could be like 144 hertz or 240 hertz or you know, so on and so forth. That's exactly what you're going to be playing Sparkling Zero in. And the game is just going to look so much more beautiful like that. You also, like on, if you do decide to get on PC, you're going to have shorter load up times because PC is pretty much known for like having the least amount of delays and latency. And honestly, my favorite one is you can do mods, bro. Like the amount of stuff that you can do with mods, bro, especially if you're a content creator out there, I definitely would recommend you get that because like me and my friends, it's plus, you know, you can always play with your friends on PC if, you know, you be on Discord and things of that nature. Especially like with the what if stories and stuff come out like, making different type of mod scenarios and things like that like super saiyan 4 gogeta versus beers or something like that you know just something along those lines because super saiyan 4 gogeta hasn't even been confirmed in the game yet if you really don't care about the the high level experience of gameplay you kind of like just gravitate more of like the fun aspect playing with your friends and stuff like that i definitely would recommend it getting on ps5 because number one it's gonna be next gen graphics because it's a ps5 <laughs> like the graphics that the ps5 has is just phenomenal bro like this shit gonna look fine plus it's gonna be more convenient to play with your friends because you know not everybody got a pc and uh the ps5 is like more of on the affordable side for most people because pcs can get pretty expensive to get a decent price on the hardware not to mention uh like meeting new people because you know majority of people they play on console and it's not the downplay ps5 or anything like you're still gonna be getting 60 frames per second the graphics are gonna look good and the latency is gonna be pretty uh, delayed good as well. And you can also too, whenever you, if you're at the house or something like that, or some friends come over, or you wanna play with your family members, it is a bit easier to play the split screen because they will have split screen mode in this game. So it'll be better for like local playing things of that nature, like playing it on the TV in that aspect. So that is something to definitely note as well because it'd be kind of weird trying to play split screen on PC. <laughs> I feel like it'd be a really cramped situation because you know, it's not like an open space. Most people set up, so it's not like an open space playing with multiple people in a PC setup area. So before I did close out this video, I did want to look at the PC requirements for this game because they should have it up. They actually don't have it up, but when those details drop, I'm definitely going to cover that, you know, in a short format video on the channel. So definitely stay tuned for that. Y'all have a good rest of y'all day, man.